Hey everyone, I just want to take a quick moment and talk to you about uh, private clients and specifically what kind of configuration or data is included in these. Now, when you first install an SAP system, there's nothing in it. It's, it's completely blank. There's no configuration setting. There's no master records, no transactions, nothing. Some of our clients specifically request this, uh, but most clients wouldn't find that very useful. Most clients would want to have you know, basic configuration done, a few master records um, so that they can start working on it. Um, and that's why SAP delivers something called BBP, Business Best Practices. Um, it's a collection of basic configuration settings for most modules, not all of them. Um, and it has a collection of master records and transactions too. Um, again, for most modules, not all of them. Um, I want to show you just a little bit. Um, so if I go into the implementation guide, transaction SPRO, and display the standard SAP reference guide, and let's say I go into enterprise structure, definition, financial accounting, and company codes right here. Edit company code data. So here you see a list of company codes, uh, specifically the 1710. That's the default company code in the US that was uh, uh, added to the system when we installed the BBP collection. Okay, so you can start using that right away. You don't have to create your own company code. But notice SAP delivers also a bunch of templates for the country. So you can easily create your own company codes too. But you don't have to. Again, this company code 1710 is already there and most of it is set up so that it's pretty close to you know, being usable. Um, that said, if you go back to the user menu. So for example, let's go into accounting, financial accounting, accounts payable, and display master records. So those are our vendor master records, right? So if I just do the drop down here and I say company code 1710, I get this list of about 29 entries found. So about 30 vendors that SAP delivered as part of the BBP package, right? So you don't have to create your own vendor master records. You can use these. The same holds true for customer master records, general ledger accounts, uh, profit centers, controlling areas, material master records, and so on. So most master records are set up already, or SAP delivers a few dozen uh, samples for you. But that's not true for every module. So for example, if you go into the asset accounting module, there are no fixed asset master records. SAP doesn't deliver any as part of the BBP. So those are some of the things you need to know or be, be aware of when you start um, in a brand new SAP client. Um, uh, the same holds true for transactions. There's not many transactions, but there are a few, right? So there, and, and that's really all you need to get started. So it doesn't make much sense to have thousands of customers and thousands of transactions. You just need a couple dozen to get started. Um, one thing also to remember is just because all this configuration and the data is in the system, that doesn't mean it's readily usable, right? Some configuration settings need to be made on a periodic basis. For example, accounting periods need to be open and closed before you can post something. Those are some of the settings or, or, or transactions that you will have to perform on an ongoing basis in order to use these systems. I hope that clears it up a little bit. Um, we're always here for questions. If you go to our website, michaelmanagement.com, click on the little chat box in the bottom right. Uh, during business hours, we're always happy to chat with you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.